Hi, this is Alex with the thriftycouple.com and I'm going to show you today how to go into your control panel that's what the C panel is and set up your email address and then how to set it up in a sample email client. So the first thing you'll do is you can scroll down and you should find an icon like this email manager click on that and what you're going to do is again we're trying to set up an email so you're not doing uh, cheap diapers and wipes uh, .com, at gmail.com but we're trying to set this up so you can actually have a professional looking email address you see over here your options what we're going to go ahead and create an email address and for the sake of this example I'm going to go ahead and call it email at cheap diapers and wipes .com. enter your password uh, it doesn't matter about the webmail client, it's not something you'll probably use anyway. Uh, I usually set the default mailbox storage, but you can adjust that as necessary either now or later. And then click on create. And then you'll see that this has already been created. So what we're going to do now is go into the email configuration, and this will tell you how to set up your email client. So if you go into Outlook, if you go into Thunderbird, uh, my choice today is going to be using uh, Gmail. And so as you go in here, you're going to see I like to use the private with SSL. So you have a an encrypted connection between you and the host. And so I'm going to go ahead and go into my Gmail. Uh, the way you can get into this yourself is by going into Settings, Accounts, and Import. And then you can have this, you have this option right here, check mail from other clients. You can click on add a POP3 mail account, which you own. So I'm going to go in here and just copy, uh, what is the mail username? Just the email address. And that username that you saw there, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste that. Now the password, you've gone ahead and you've saved that, so let's go ahead and populate that. And then you'll notice here as well that the incoming server, everything is really straightforward and easy. You can just walk your way through it. It's the same as the POP server, so this is your incoming email. And then the port you need to choose is going to be specified there as well for the POP3 account. I'm just going to go ahead and choose port 995. And then as far as these options go, uh, this is very specific to uh, just to, Google, to Gmail. Uh, I'm, I want to go ahead and always use a secure connection. Everything is going to, everyone's client is going to be different. But as far as this goes, just go through, read the options, and select the ones that make the most sense. And then add account. And I, I'll go ahead and save that myself. And yes, I'd like to be able to save it uh, or send the email as email at cheapdiapersandwipes.com. And I'll just go ahead and uh, fill this out. And I like to be able to send it directly to the host. Treat as an alias is something that Gmail lets you use to be able to use their POP3 server. Well, I like to connect directly to the host. So let me go ahead and uh, get this set up as well. You'll see the outgoing server. Everything is has really been nicely defined. It's just a matter of just filling in the right blanks. The port is 465. The username has already been specified, the password, secured connection using SSL. Let me go ahead and add account. And you're going to see here, it's going to say that uh, I need to enter a verification code. So I can go in here now to my settings. You'll see that I already have this set up. I'm going to go ahead and check mail now for my incoming mail. And then I should receive a an email specifying and giving me that code that it's asking for. Let 
And once that's checked, we should see one email fetched. And then we'll be able to send and receive email with your professional uh, email address that you've set up through your host. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer than others. So as we're waiting, remember you can go in here to your control panel, scroll through here. You know, the point is not to get overwhelmed, but the point is just to go through and take your time and say, oh, email manager, that makes sense, and be able to set everything up right there. Let's see. Right here, cheap diapers and wipes, got my confirmation code. We go in here, click on verify. And now I can both send and receive email. If I can type. My message has been sent. If I go back into my settings, accounts and import, just as a reminder, if I just check the mail now, I'll see that the email show right up there, right there. So anyway, I hope that uh, this was useful. Uh, please leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll try to answer them for you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.